Hello everyone. Welcome to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to configure multi-admin approvals in Microsoft Intune. Multi-admin approval access policies in Intune allow us to ensure a second administrator approves the deployment of apps and scripts to endpoints within Intune. By creating this secure workflow, we are ensuring and we are protecting our endpoints from malicious or compromised administrators. It does this by allowing a second person to validate that the app or script is approved, validated or documented. Multi-admin approvals apply when any user account in our tenant is used to create a resource that is protected by an access policy. When any account in the tenant is used to make a change to a resource that is protected by an access policy, Indian won't apply the change until a different account explicitly approves it. Only administrators who are members of an approval group that is assigned a protected resource in an access protection policy can approve changes. Approvers can also reject change request. To create multi-admin approval access policy, the account must be assigned the Intune Service Administrator or Azure Global Administrator role. Only these two roles have the permissions to create multi-admin approval policies in Intune. To approve multi-admin approval policies, an account must be in the group that is assigned to the access policy for a specific type of resource. Ensure the user is part of the group that can approve request before we test the admin approvals in Intune. First, we need to access and log in to the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. We can access Microsoft Endpoint Manager using the URL https endpoint.microsoft.com. In the first step, we will create an access policy for multi-admin approvals. On home page, click on Tenant Administration. Click on Multi-Admin Approval. Click on Access Policies. On the Access Policies tab, we get the option to create a Multi-Admin Approval Access Policy. Click on Create Plus icon. On the Basics page, enter a meaningful name for our Access Policy, then select a profile type which this policy will apply to. We have given name Taste Multi-Admin Approvals Deployment. For the profile type, there are two options available, Apps and Scripts. Each policy supports a single profile type. In this example, we will select Apps from the available options. Click Next. We will need to specify a group, all members of which will get the approver status and thus will be able to either approve or reject approval request that get generated because of this policy. We have created one test group named Test MMA Admins. We will add that group as an approver for this policy. Click on Add Groups and then select a group. From the list, select Test MMA Admins. Click on Select and click on Next to continue. On the Review plus Create page, review your configuration. To save the changes, click on Create. Wait for the confirmation message. We can see the message Test Multi Admin Approvals Deployment successfully created. On Access Policies tab, we can see the newly created access policy named Taste Multi-Admin Approvals Deployment. So first step is completed successfully. In the second step, 
we will create a submit request after the access policy for multi admin approval has been created it gets into action immediately when an admin edits or creates a new object for an area that is protected by an access policy they see an option on the save plus review page where they can enter a description of the change as a business justification to test multi admin approval sign in to the intune with an account that has the intune application manager role assigned to it we have already accessed the intune portal as a test user one who has application manager role assigned we can see a username user one to test multi admin approval we can either add a new app into intune or add it any existing apps and make some changes click on apps click on all apps let's try to publish a new app click on add plus icon from the drop down select line of business app type click on select click on select app package file click on browse select not paid plus plus msi package click on okay enter publisher name which is going to be don ho you can change other details as per requirement click next on review plus create page as we can see the multi admin approval workflow kicked in we need to provide the business justification before we can save the changes so let me enter business justification here so i have entered business justification we need to deploy not with plus plus to our windows devices and after entering business justification now we can send this request for approval let me click on submit for approval wait for the confirmation message a notification will appear showing the application created as you can see currently not with plus plus package is uploading to the intune and we can also see a notification about change request submitted that notification is here your change request to create app notepad plus plus has been submitted for approval after waiting for around 3 minutes finally the package has been successfully uploaded to the intune at top we can see the message a change request for this app is pending approval to find our request go back to microsoft intune admin center which we have access using our administrator okay mw admin at msf surat v2 dot on microsoft dot com in the third step we need to approve the request the request needs to be approved after the admin has submitted it click on received request at this moment we can see no request have been submitted click on refresh to see the updated request list we can see we have new request which needs approval here we can see request time stamp resource type operation type and here we have the business justification which we have given during adding that not paid plus plus package click on business justification link for a request to open the review page where we can learn more about the request and manage approval or rejection the approval admin now see a json file with the changes requested so here we are not going to modify anything uh, i'm just going to put information about the developer after modifying and reviewing the details enter relevant details in the approvers notes fields and then you can select approve request or reject request let me type the approvers note so i have added approvers note 
and now we have the option to approve the request or reject the request i'm going to click on approve request to approve it wait for the confirmation message we can see the confirmation message approval request successfully approved after we approve a request intune process the changes and updates the status to completed after it is successfully applied the request status might change to approved for a limited time if the update to the resource takes time to process in our case still we can see needs approval status let me click on refresh we can see the status is now changed to approved let's go back to microsoft endpoint manager page which we have access as a test user one i'm going to refresh the web page at top this time we can see a different message the app currently has a pending change request you will be available to edit the app once the change request is completed this will take some time to change the request to completed and after that we can assign this application to group of user or group of devices the admin who has submitted a request can view the status of the request in my request page let's see that again i want to remind you that we are using user one's account here click on tenant administration click on multi admin approval and now we need to click on my request tab here we can see the request status is approved it means that the request is being processed by intune when this request has been successfully processed you will see completed status for this request but right now we have approved status for this request this is going to take some time to change the request status from approved to completed but this will gives an idea that how we can create access policy to use multi admin approvals in intune that concludes the video on how to configure multi admin approvals in microsoft intune thank you all for watching this video have a nice day